Right, this is a bit of a progress and update video on my Chinese mini lathe and the setups I've been doing on it recently. I'm waiting for a new um, VFD for my MyFed ML7 and I'm going to be converting that over to three phase soon so I'll be doing a video on that one. And I've got several things from Banggood and eBay recently which I'd like to show you. I've got my ER32 collet chuck system for the Chinese mini lathe. Someone asked me uh, a little while ago which is the best um, collet chuck for the lathe and I think this one is from Banggood. And I'm in the process of setting up a new 24 hole indexing system on the Chinese mini lathe. And so far I've made this um, pin assembly which will locate in the 24 holes on the um, pulley. I'm putting a new pulley on the back there, a cast iron one, and one of these um, taper lock uh, pulleys. And I'll be um, drilling my 24 hole indexing system around this one um, for that pin to locate in. I made the pin out of a brass door bolt the bolt was uh, quite a long one and I sawed it down um, took out the centre piece and I made up new bushes um, to go in the actual housing assembly quite tight and those were drilled out and reamed out for a quarter inch and I made a quarter inch brass shaft with this um, bolt action hand on here so I can actually lock it in the off position or the safe position and then I'll be able to lift it up and move it into the holes for doing the indexing. Now another um, very good thing to have if you have the VFD set up and the three phase motor is a motor thermometer. I get these little ones from Banggood, um, very low cost and make up a nice little bracket on the back there of brass, very easy to make. And then I'll put a piece of Velcro um, stuck on the top of the motor box there and on the underside of the brass um, bracket and that just um, sticks on the top there and um, I was quite fortunate because I bought this motor for, from new and the feet can actually come off um, the base and screw on different positions and so there's a um, pre-drilled hole on this side here which isn't used and I found that the actual um, probe for the a thermometer can actually just go into that hole there and that gives me a really good reading of how hot the motor is getting and I say it's good for a um, VFD setup because if you're using um, the motor uh, in very low speeds obviously the fan isn't drawing the air through the um, motor so much and they can actually get uh, quite hot especially with all this um, hot weather we've been getting and it's quite surprising how the temperature goes up how quickly it goes up um, when you're using the motor so if you haven't got a pre-drilled hole to stick the probe in um, what I normally do is actually lay it in the corner of one of the fins and then just stick it on with some blue tack Now while I'm on the subject of thermometers, this is a really nice one here from Banggood. Um, this is a humidity um, detector as well. So you've got the um, actual temperature down here and the humidity readings up here on this arrow which swings from low to high and it gives you a percentage there and then the low readings and the high readings and the same with the temperature down here you've got low readings and high readings of a certain period and it's all cal calibrated uh, when you buy it and you can actually um, touch the screen here and change the Fahrenheit into centigrade and I bought one of these because I have a small metal shed which um, rises in temperature very quickly but in the winter it also gets very cold in here and now I can actually use this meter to um, see whether there's the likelihood of um, condensation and oil up the machines overnight or whatever. It runs on two AAA batteries and the cover at the back 
um, doubles up as a, a stand so you can actually stand it up like that or you can use this uh, keyhole here for putting it on a screw on the wall or you have these two um, strong rare earth magnets and that will actually stick to a metal surface and there's no chance of the thermometer falling off and the small thermometer that I showed um, just now which I use for checking the temperature of um, the housings of bearings or the motor like I just showed runs on two LR44 um, batteries um, very easy to get hold of and um, I've had those batteries in this assembly here um, for over a year now and it's still going perfectly another excellent component I found on Banggood was this NVR switch no volt release switch um, with emergency stop and lock uh, very good quality and worth having a couple of these in stock if you have machines for spares easy to fit and one of these in the UK actually costs um, three times more than the price you can actually get this for on Banggood so they're well worth getting excellent quality and I fully recommend them and lastly another thing that I recommend and I bought a couple of these for myself um, is this DTI clock it's in a thousandth of an inch and um, very good quality um, very nice long travel and smooth travel the um, spindle the bezel unlocks obviously and moves very um, nicely and smoothly but it's also nice and tight there's um, two markers on the face of the clock there which you can adjust and it's made of metal except for the back which is an ABS plastic so it's very strong I'm not put off of that at all it makes it very lightweight but I cannot bend that bracket on the back there and I don't think that would break easily and I like I say I bought a couple of these um, not only for DTI clocks uh, for measuring things on the actual um, stands but also to mount on the lathe to see the travel um, and the depth of cut. And when you see the price that they're selling them for, you'll be quite amazed. And if you're going to use them on a machine, um, there's not so much worry of actually damaging them like you would with the expensive clocks. So coming back to the ER32 um, collet chuck for the Chinese mini lathe, it's really well machined. Um, I put these studs in here, stainless steel studs, um, it doesn't come with those. Or you can actually um, mount it on the lathe um, headstock spindle um, with these uh, four holes if you don't want to use the three. Um, with nuts and bolts, but I actually prefer um, just a stud like that. It's easier to actually um, fit that onto the lathe. And the um, chuck has a um, hole either side on the plate here for um, making up a bar. You don't get one with that. So I made this one up. I think I've shown it before with a ball on the end. That goes in the hole and then you can actually tighten it onto the lathe like that and if you're new to using um, collet chucks you actually get the collet and put it in at an angle in the actual nut and twist it into position until it clicks um, before you actually screw it into the actual um, collet chuck. Uh, make sure you um, clean both angles um, on the actual collet and inside here with a cloth before you actually screw it on. And a collet chuck is one of the best things you can have on a lathe. You, you can actually hold small screws with it like this one here. Um, and when you actually tighten that up onto that screw, it won't actually damage the threads.
and they are really the best thing to actually hold end mills if you're doing milling on the lathe. And just before I go, I'd just like to say that um, I'm waiting for the actual 22mm um, buttons which I'm going to put in the front of the actual box here on the um, Chinese mini lathe. And then I'm going to wire the VFD up um, with uh, forward and reverse stop and start on the actual front of the lathe. I'm keeping the VFD on the wall um, and I, I wouldn't actually put it into the box. Um, because they have the tendency of getting hot that's why they've got the fan and it's best in an open position like this